何如何，但是这些是很难查的。对。但是呢，如果我们跟踪服务的话，从怀孕一直跟踪到她出生，哎，这个呢，那就还是比较有效的。To ensure couples don't abort their daughters, the government has made it a law that they register any pregnancy. Downstairs, one couple is enrolling for the tracking service. Yang and his team will monitor the pregnancy to ensure girls aren't aborted or neglected after they're born. We say the main thing is education. Education. Say that this word, Mao Zedong Tongzi, has been saying for how many years? Said for how many years? Actually, farmers have their own challenges. We often work in farming and we know that. Because we are in three cities, in three cities. 之前观念和实际的生活当中呢，比如说人家那个人，那么按我们的风俗和习俗，女子的女儿了，她就打不出去。那么那个时候家里面就没得男孩，那么她就，比如说老了年老了，需要喝点水，是吃点饭。那个时候她就不能动的时候怎么办？那么现在国家拿了政策过头，拿了钱过头，她就，是吧？有一个一个保障了，我老了过后我没女的，但是我有钱，是吧？我。China's family planners have launched the Care for Girls program. Its slogans are everywhere, trying to raise the status of female children. Part of Mr. Yang's job is to promote this vision. Today, he's off to visit a family with two daughters. The urgent need for more girls in rural China means that here, if your first child is a girl, you are now allowed to have a second. That's why this family has been chosen as a showcase for Mr. Yang's team. As a bonus for having daughters, all the furniture in this room has been paid for by Mr. Yang's department. By educating the people that it is all the same to have boys or girls, we make the people realize that both boys and girls are the future of our country, and that both genders carry the hopes of the Chinese people. This way, we break the millennium-old notion of preferring male to female. Mr. Yang's next stop is in a much poorer area. Here, another family with two girls is struggling to survive. The father is blind and can't work. But now they can look forward to an annual pension just for having two daughters. And an appearance by Mr. Yang at their home also raises their status in the community. He doesn't come empty-handed. The Care for Girls program has also begun to pay for the younger daughter's schooling. It's hoped that education will improve her prospects.
Back in the village at Yaozi, the efforts of the Care for Girls program have come too late for Xinghua's mother. She's now left childless, while her only son travels to the city. She was part of the first generation of parents to be forced to have just one child. In the provincial capital, Chongqing, hundreds of thousands of workers are heading back after Chinese New Year. Xinhua has got this far but he still has an 800-mile train journey to reach Beijing. He's part of the largest flow of people in the world. 80 million Chinese crossing the country to work. I need to get to Beijing to find a job, but I worry about my parents. His parents have saved up enough money for his ticket, but little else. When he arrives, Xinhua will have no friends or family in Beijing. He'll be alone in a city of over 14 million people. I feel Beijing is a strange city to me. I just arrived and I don't know anybody. The environment is very noisy and dirty compared to my hometown. There are a lot of cars and a lot of people. But I have no friends here. I feel a little tense in my heart, a bit jittery. But the city is okay, there is money. In the cities, the gender imbalance is less obvious than in the country. The sheer number of people here helps to disguise it, but it still exists. And for city women like Xiao Ying, with money to buy the goods they want, it provides even more freedom to choose the right partner. I enjoy dating. It's very interesting to see different uh, guys and they help me to find out my, myself. I know what I really like and uh, what uh, I don't like much. There's many girls like me, you know. They, they try to spend more good time. That's more important than just marriage, whatever, you know. Marriage is a long-term goal, and you don't have to propose that at the beginning. The most important is try to spend more good time together. Uh, my trouble sometimes I feel is uh, it is not because I have no choice, but I have too many choices. Though Xiao Ying's happy just to keep dating, her parents are still anxious for her to find a husband. Tonight she's going out with an American who she's met through her work. I worked uh, as a business journalist before, and uh, I respond for uh, multinational companies, uh, their business in China. So uh, by my work, I met a lot of Western people. And also, I'm interested in learning different culture. Tonight I'm going to see a nice guy. Mm, it is a date. This is the new face of modern China. The nightlife and entertainment scene is undergoing something of a revolution. Educated city women suddenly find themselves with money to spend. With attitudes more liberal than in the past, 
they're able to go out and have fun with Western men as well as Chinese. Uh, fine. I'm sorry for being late. Did, did you have trouble finding the No, no, it's very easy to go here. But you know... As a travel writer with experience of life abroad, Xiao Ying and her dates quickly find common ground. She's already had a European boyfriend. Only 10 years ago, dating was for the sole purpose of finding a husband. If a woman saw different men, it would not be seen as decent. I like this guy. Uh, I like the humor he has, uh, and I enjoy the conversation very much. I told me that he hasn't met such a girl like me, but I told him there are a lot of such girls. <laughs> I just the one of them. Xiao Ying told her date about the book she's planning to write on Vietnam. I, I told him that I'm going to Vietnam for this work. He told me, he told me maybe I should go with him and he can help me to carry my luggage something. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe someday. But Xinhua and millions of men like him still face a hard task of trying to impress an ever smaller field of possible future wives. He's finally found a job on a construction site, living in a dormitory with three other country boys. The work is seven days a week, 11 hours a day, all for just two pounds a day. If he can last out here till next spring, then perhaps he can head home with enough cash to impress a potential wife. In Beijing alone, there are 850,000 migrant workers like Xinhua. An army of single young men channeling their energies into the construction industry as the trillion dollar Chinese economy continues to boom skyward. With the Olympic Games coming to China in 2008, construction of new hotels and housing has exploded. It's a completely different world from the village at Yaozi he left behind. It was very hard to find a job, especially since I knew no one here. I had to ask about job opportunities at all the building sites by myself. It's okay that I didn't know anyone when I first came here. It would take some time to make close friends. My workmates are from all over the country. We're getting along well with each other now. I missed my family a lot when I first arrived, but not so much now. It will be better over time, I'm sure. Xinhua has been in Beijing a week and is slowly adjusting to life away from his home and family. But at least he can still text a few friends in the village. Xinhua knows that in the next 12 months, the money he saves could be crucial. But at this time of year, the temperature at night on the building site can drop to minus 10. There's different food, long hours and the punishing work. It's all a culture shock. Uh, 
可能能忍吧。买双被子。啊，现在还没结婚呢。没有，现在。啊，有女朋友了吧？没有，没有，还没,还没找女朋友。还没有，还没找到合适的。嗯，听来我给你介绍一个也可以吧？哼。啊。过两天给你介绍一个。好吧，好吧。想要想要想要想要什么样的？只要，啊，人来真诚的就可以了。哦。一般的。啊，只要真心就可以了，是吧？啊、哦，行。现在这些女孩儿。那我想往城里面跑。啊，对他，他的想法太少。他的想法不一样，农村没事嘛，他农村他又不会干农活。对。Across town, Xiao Ying's decided that for the moment she would rather head to Vietnam and continue working than settle down. I enjoy my single life, actually. I, I can do anything I want. I want to go travel, and I can meet all different uh, friends in my trips. I will go to Vietnam first. I, I plan to write a book about this country. As a writer, Xiao Ying at least has the freedom to travel, to escape the demands of a society that still sees marriage as the best thing she could ever achieve. I, I can keep away from the pressure and uh, enjoy my lifestyle. For Xinhua, the issues are more basic. He just doesn't want to become what the Chinese call a bare branch, a man without children. But without his family and familiar life, he's finding the city very difficult. Two months have passed. Xinhua's given up his dreams in the capital and returned home. He's come back to find the house empty. His parents have left for Tibet to find work in the hope of improving their son's situation. But Xinhua won't be going back to Beijing. From the moment I got there, I never felt I belonged. By the time I left, the weather was far colder than anything I'm used to. It was snowing and I was freezing. It can't be good for people's health to work there for a long time. I don't have a girlfriend yet. Girls nowadays have very high expectations. You have to own a house and it's got to be nicely decorated. It has to be good enough for them to be satisfied. What girl would ever fancy me? I can't provide her with anything. She wouldn't have a comfortable life with me. I can't get a job that'll let me make enough money. I feel pain in my heart. But I will keep on trying. Across the country, millions of men like Xinhua are in the same situation, competing for fewer and fewer available women. The Chinese government admits that if trends continue, by the time these boys are ready to marry, there'll be over 40 million more men than women. The construction boom will keep the single men of China occupied for now. But even those who persevere may never find a girl to marry. Have your say on tonight's show and explore a world of extra information, news stories and features by visiting our website at bbc.co.uk forward slash this world. And this world returns for a new series in the autumn here on BBC Two. Pakistan is in the front line in the fight against the new Al-Qaeda. Its leaders oppose the extremists, but it's home to some schools for radicals. 
now i've been given unprecedented access to the men who've looked al-qaeda in the face peter taylor investigates the new al-qaeda monday at nine on bbc two way back when the world looked like this nice and simple but then pesky little things like attempts at global domination started to spoil things so i thought there has to be a better way what if i could create my own country get a flag become a king get in the un or eurovision all i need is a territory join danny wallace lunatic or potential world leader how to start your own country tomorrow at 10 on bbc2 do you think I'm going to pick that up and throw it, though? I ain't frying the bowl. Do you think I'm a servant or something? Are you calling me a butler? I ain't even bothered, though. Look at my face. Look at my face. Don't look at the ball. No, look at my face. Look at my face. I ain't even bothered. I don't care. Bothered. Face. Look. Ball. Face. Bothered. Face. Bothered. I ain't bothered. BBC Two. Pedigree comedy. I call me a pie cake.